welcome to our preview of the British Olympic 10,000 metre trials which is taking place this Saturday the 5th of June at the Birmingham University track. So it's also the European Cup, um, so athletes will be coming across from Europe uh, with a max of 6 per team. Yeah, but for this preview we're going to focus on the Olympic trials element uh, and what it means is that the first two British athletes in the race will qualify for the Tokyo Olympics provided they have run under the qualifying time of 27 minutes and 28 seconds. Now that's an incredibly hard standard. Uh, only six British men in history have run it, and it's a lot harder than the 2016 standard, which was 28 minutes. So there's only one man um, in this field who has the qualifying time. Um, there's two that have run it in the past, including this one. So Mark Scott, he has the time. Um, Mo Farah does not have the time. So he will have to run it in order to ensure he gets his place. Um, and if anyone else wants an Olympic spot, it's going to have to be a fast one. Um, to help with that, pacemakers are Sean Tobin and David McNeil. Um, they've both shown good form this year. McNeil has the 5K Olympic qualifying time, um, and he should be able to get beyond 5K at the pace, which will really help um, the athletes get go hard and get after that time. Um, in addition, they'll be wave light on the track um, just to help with the pacing. Yes, yeah, so I think that the man we have to talk about first is Mo Farah. He's maybe the greatest of all time at this event. He's the, the world champion from 2017. That was his last track 10,000. He's also won the past two Olympic te the, Olymp the past two Olympic 10,000 meter titles. So you know he's he's the big man. He's still the big man. He he tried to do the marathon. We thought he was going to be running the marathon in Tokyo, but that marathon experiment didn't go so smoothly. So now he's coming back to the track. He did a track race last year, which was the one hour run, and he broke Haile Gebrselassie's world record. So he's still got it on the track. He uh, hasn't probably raced as much as other athletes this no, year. No. Um, so we're not sure what sort of form he's in on no. the track. Um, but um, if we look at another athlete in the field, Mark Scott, he has shown form on the track. A lot of um, form. He's yeah. set PVs um, across every event apart from the 1500, which he was only a second off. Um, He's ready to go. Um, I think he, him, and it'll be quite scrappy between him and Mo um, for that win. They both want it. Um, Mo doesn't want to get beaten, obviously, um, and Mark Scott wants to beat him. Yeah, I can't even remember the last time Mo lost to, to a Brit in a ten thousand meters race on the track. I'm not sure if it's ever happened. But Mark's run twenty seven ten. Like that's that's world class. So mm -hmm. it's going to be a real. And they real did. Good they sport. raced each other um, in Antrim. Yeah, the uh, yeah September twenty twenty was the last time they faced each other. And it wasn't a blowout for Mo Farah, you know, he beat Mark Scott by 12 seconds over a half marathon. And you'd have to say that, that if anything, nowadays, the 10,000 probably favours Mark Scott more than the half marathon, given, you know, he's around 336, 1500 this year. So if they're together at the bell, who knows, could be exciting. And then what about that third spot? The third spot, yeah, so, well, the man we thought was going to be the favourite for that third spot is uh, Sam Atkin. Uh, Sam Atkin... Yeah, he, he ran the time last year, at the end of last year in California. And so we thought, right, he's going he's gonna to come here, he's going to get the top two, he's already got the time, he'll qualify. But he's unfortunately pulled out earlier this week, so that, that really opens things up. Mm -hmm. person that I would really like to see do well and fight for that spot is Jake Smith. Yeah, Jake Smith's been tearing it up. He's, he's the people's champ. He like posts all of his training on Strava, he does crazy things like... 10 miles and 46 minutes on the track. Uh, he's a maverick. Um, Not to mention his most recent accomplishment. Um, yeah. He was supposed yeah. to be... Yeah, yeah. Like, he made his marathon debut uh, almost, like, spontaneously. He was supposed to be pacing the Cheshire Marathon and he just took it all the way to the finish, dipped under the Olympic qualifying time, obviously not in the Olympic trial, so he's not qualified for the marathon, even though he has run the time. But now he's going for the 10K time and he's... He'd been targeting this for a while. He did a time trial in 2020 when stuff was all closed up because of COVID. He ran 28 flat mm -hmm. in old school spikes, just being paced by his mates. Um, jumping in and out, weren't Jumping they? in and out, yeah. yeah, exactly. So although his official PB is only 29.01, we know he can go faster. We know he can run 28 minutes. The question is, can he run 27.28? Mm -hmm. It's a big ask, but he's a huge talent. Yeah. Um, in terms of other British athletes? Yeah, I guess the other one I'm really interested see is Mo Adan, who was a brilliant third place at the marathon trials in Kew Gardens and that was probably the best race of his life um, 
Yeah, looked really strong. Looked really strong. And then he's been back to Kenya since then to sharpen up for this for these 10,000 meter trials. As far as I know, he's been going really well. Um, so it will be really interesting to see what he can do. I, I mean, I'd love to see as many Brits as possible go under 28 minutes. And, and there are other guys in there who I think are capable of that. Um, but Moadan's probably, yeah, I'd say one of the stronger Brits in the field. So it'd be exciting to see how he gets on. And obviously this preview is focused on that qualifying um, but we can't forget about those European athletes that are going to be up there with the pace wanting to run fast as well and wanting to run the Olympic standard. Absolutely yeah uh, foremost amongst those is probably Morad Amdouni who is the defending European champion over 10,000 metres. He has uh, an interesting past he was uh, the feature of a interesting Hayo Sepelt documentary about uh, certain things going on in Morocco we'll link to that in the description but he's undoubtedly a very accomplished runner and I think he'll be contending for the win and for the Olympic time the other guy to really watch out for is Bashir Abdi who is a training partner of Mo Farah he has a personal best of 27.36 for 10,000 meters and also a really quick marathon time he's been more focused on the marathon recently but you know that's not to say he won't run a really quick 10,000 I think he'll be pushing the pace in the middle stages which is only going to help uh, the British guys and again, like I say, hopefully a few of those can take advantage of that and get under 28 minutes, which is still not a thing that's been done by that many Brits. Yeah, um, so we were going to do a one, two, three pick that yeah. we haven't told each other. Yeah. Um, so I'll go first. You go first. So, um, slightly controversial, but I'm going to put Mark Scott for the win, um, followed by Mo Farah. Um, and then third, I'm going to go with Jake Smith. Um, I just sort of believe in him, want him to do it. Um, I think he can do it. He's shown he's shown what good shape he's in. Um, and talking about that time trial he did last last year, um, I think yeah. he really. He, I know he wants it. I think. Yeah, he's been aiming he for this it, for a while. So, do you think um, he'll get the time? I think he'll get the time. He'll get the time. Wow. I have faith in him. <laughs> okay. Big bold prediction. No, your turn. Yeah, my turn. Uh, so I'm not gonna disrespect the goat here. I think yeah. Mo Farah is the class of the field still, as good as Mark Scott is these days, you know, Mo Farah doesn't really lose many 10,000 metre races, so I'd still be shocked to see him get beaten. So I'm going Mo Farah first, Mark Scott second, and I'm going to put Bashir Abdi in there in third, after, you know, lots of good training with Mo. Mm -hmm. So those are our picks. Uh, let us know what you think in the comments below. Who are you picking? Uh, what's the winning time going to be? Are we going to see three Brits run under the standard? Uh, let us know what you think, and yeah, thanks for yeah. watching. We look forward to it. Yeah, cheers. Bye. Bye.